Welcome guys, welcome back to the channel, man. Real quick, I want y'all to see this. Y'all see that? Service shifter, okay? I finally caught it. Yes, it is on. I had to drive this car until I was able to duplicate it. Yes, she is not crazy. She is not lunatic. She said, uh, because every time I drove it, it never do it. So, I came over to pick the car up and go on a drive. And yes, she is exactly right. And on top of that, guys, y'all see the shifter, all the indicators are lit up. And I'm still in drive, right? So I go in the park, they still lit up, all right? And the service shifter light is still on, okay? Yes, that is a problem. Now, uh, is it an electrical problem or actual physical transmission problem? That is the debate. And from my experience, and I do quite have quite a bit of experience on a Jeep. This is a Jeep Latitude, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is a Chrysler Jeep Cherokee Latitude, I want to say. All right, uh, 2017 model. Okay, now, uh, this problem or this Jeep uh, debuted or showed up in 2014. And in fact, uh, the problem was there in 2014. But the solution is different from year to year. Okay, I want to say the early built 2014 through the early built uh 2016 i want to say okay now uh mid-year in 2016 uh it tend to have changed uh the repair the recommended repair is what i'm referring to okay so there's many different ways you can fix this problem you uh would just merely have to verify not so much verify you just have to know what year you're working with okay but because all the repairs are not the same from uh all from year to year okay like i say early build 2014 through early build 2016 and then 2016 on up to 2018 that's right guys a four-year span this problem existed and i'm about to tell you how to fix uh both of them okay we'll just call 2014 to 2016 uh gen one or first generation okay and uh 16 and up gen 2 now i haven't seen this problem on a 2019 in fact i think they have corrected rectified the whole problem all right so 2019 and up guys you should not ever see a uh, service shift the light on okay now that that could mean a number of things uh that could mean something is going on with your shifter you have to do the diagnosis if you'll do it yourself or it's gonna be fairly hard for you to do the diagnosis because you need a the proper scan too all right but as far as uh what you should do to fix it i will talk about that okay and uh in fact let me go take a quick break when i get back we're going to discuss uh how to fix that all right so stay tuned don't go anywhere i will be right back all right guys welcome back welcome back to the channel now what i want to discuss is we're going to talk about the first edition the 2014 2014 through mid 2016 uh, what you're going to end up doing on that year model is uh, pretty much the complete shifter assembly. There's no way around it, guys. The, uh, the electronics built inside that year, those year model sh uh, shifters are internally coming in port apart. So there's no way to fix it via uh, the actual shifter bezel. Okay. So 2014, and uh, that's the year it came out through early build 2016 you my friend will have to replace the complete shifter now i have a video uh i've already recorded on this very topic on how to do that so if you do it yourself and you already know that that's your problem you can simply follow that video and uh pretty much uh i would say it's uh you should have a little mechanical background okay because you're going to get deep off into the shifter and you may get uh you may panic so uh make sure you have a little background on tearing things apart because you're basically tearing stuff apart and you're going to go back in with a new one but due to this video it will walk you through step by step all right now 2016 mid-year and up you will merely need the bezel and uh the wiring harness okay i also have a video on that that's right, ladies and gentlemen, I had a chance to record both repairs or make the repairs on both vehicles, all right? So, 
Now, without further ado, guys, I'm going to uh, shut this part of the video down. I'm going to let those two videos play, okay? So I will make this a complete video on how to rid yourself of this service shifter light. You will not see that again, all right? Two different videos about the plate. Uh, just forward to the year that you're working with or just simply watch them both or just simply watch the whole video, guys. I would appreciate it with the... Um, I'm sure I'm going to let you know some ads will be playing throughout. So please don't panic. Please don't get upset. Uh, merely uh, relax and let it play, uh, you know, however you feel that day. Uh, you know, keep in mind that the technician that brought you this information put a lot of resources into bringing it to you in a video format. <laughs> so always keep that in mind when watching videos and ads tend to play. Okay, it helps out the channel and it helps out the product that's trying to be sold via the ad. All right, actually, uh, you may find some real good ads. I had a speak with a rep at uh, YouTube and they uh, tend to make an ad related to my channel. So you might be surprised, guys. Be patient with the ads. All right, so without further ado, let me go to another ad break when I get back. Both of those videos will be playing back to back. And I'm going to wrap it up from there, guys. Thanks for watching. Let's see if she want to uh, authorize us to replace uh, the shifter assembly. Okay, so and we're going to go from there, man. All right, thanks for watching. Guys, welcome back. I finally got my parts. This is the bezel I need. I had to order these parts. So basically, I'm going to put a bezel and a wire, new wire on it. On it. Uh, the problem they're having is uh, this, this bezel. It's actually this module inside the bezel. It just break down over time, uh, shorten out. So uh, the manufacturer has uh, just new in it, this improved the module inside the bezel. Now, you may think you can replace this. Uh, by itself without doing the bezel but you can't you can't get it out of here and when you do it comes apart so i end up getting the whole complete bezel now i will put this uh part number in the description and you will need this wire also okay a check shifter light just comes on all the time my wife is upset and mad and tired of it okay now 
when you get you one of these, uh, make sure you get the correct color. You got to get the color that matches your car. All right, so I need to get this thing replaced in a hurry. Uh, real simple, guys. Just pry up on it. Now, this is my car, so don't, do not dog me out by me not being extremely careful. Just pry this up, and uh, we're just simply going to dig out the old harness. All right? And like I say, uh, the wire harness is going to have a little... Uh, little tab on it right here you just got to get that out of there all right so let me get this over this hump now looking right here uh simply unplug the connector put it out and it's got a push tab right here that uh you need to get out okay yes i had been saying she was crazy up until the time i drove it Okay, I'm replacing I don't have to project this out because I'm replacing it anyway. I'm replacing all this actually. So, but if you're scared you're going to get lost, just simply, uh, this goes into here. And then plug the connect in, alright? The other end of the connector is that deep down on the shifter. So, you may have to do a little finagling to get down there, alright? Alright guys, so you might have to put, put, pick up on this. I had to pry up on this so you can get your hand down there and get that. Unplug this connector. That's all you're trying to do. Got it. So once you get that, man, you have to connect it out and simply reverse the removal procedure and put everything back together. And that should get rid of your check shifter light. Okay. So that's all I have, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next video.